Hi, I'm Grant Austin. And I'm Darlene Long. <laughs> Good cue. Okay, first we're going to show you the amalgamation that we worked on in our beginner intermediate waltz class. Started off with a basic twinkle and one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, first pattern we did was a basic twinkle. We did a one, open up four. Guys, turn the girl open on two, and she turns in. We both are at an angle. We both reach forward with contra body movement. Four, okay? Four, and we're just gonna close up five, six. This is right outside partner. So watch one more time. Lead with our body, good solid frame. One, open up, four, close up, one. That's your basic twinkle. Then we added a triple twinkle where the gentleman gets around the girl on four, backs up five, six. One, open up, four, five, six. Again, setting down in, at the end of six, down into position, and he is backing up on the outside track. He's now going to pivot, bring her around him. This will, he will end up on the inside track, her on the outside track. One, open up. Gentlemen, we lead this with our right shoulder. We reach back. One, we pivot, bring our frame around, naturally coming around, hitting our angle. We bring the girl around us. One, two, three, and then we can also close up on five, six. This again is the triple twinkle. We do a one, open up, around, back, up, one, open up, four, and close. Okay, from this triple twinkle position, going backwards, gentlemen, we can stay in our track and lead the girl into forward waist straps simply by, on one, turning her in place. The hard part here, ladies, is to feel his lead from both the left hand and the right hand on her shoulder blade, turning her here like a top, just like that, gentlemen. The hard part for the lady is getting this hand off his shoulder. She needs to bring it in. And as she turns and goes forward, brings it into her body and then extends it, okay? There's a, quite a few things the girl can do with her hand there. We can play with that and we'll show you a couple of variations. The guy's footwork for just a moment, going backwards, gentlemen. You're going to turn on one because when you turn to the right, you want to initiate the turn on your left foot when going backwards. Turn, two, three. Okay, so you're leading here. Turn, two, three. Now you're going forward. You drive forward on four, but you begin to turn the girl on four. This is the hard part. Lead her on four to turn, but you must turn on five. Rolling your foot, five, rising at the end of five, and back down on six. So guys, again, you're going backwards. It's a one, two, three, forward, toe out, back. If you're having a problem with this, you're probably crossing on five. And in which case, it'll look like this where you're turning one, two, three, four. And as you lead the girl on four, if you're looking at her, you'll have a tendency of crossing behind on five. So don't look at the girl, look forward, hit that five forward and six back. So one more time with a partner, guys lead with the body. And one, open up, around triple twinkle to the waist. Again to the waist. Watch out for the wall. And open her up at the end. So we go from this back closed position. We open her up one more time to finish with a regular twinkle right outside partner. Forward, close up. And on one, as you close up here and right outside partner, hip to hip, you're gonna go ahead and allow her to drive back on one. Take a little bit smaller drive for the guy. Go ahead and cross right into her track. Two, three, just like that. Also make sure that you extend on one, rise on two, and compress and down and back into your pocket at the end of three. Again, going forward, one, two, three, land ball flat. At the end of three, go ahead and go down into position, get down at the end of three. And one more time, the entire amalgamation. And one, 
open up four, back it up to the waist, forward turn to the waist, forward turn, open, forward close, and that, ladies and gentlemen, was beginner intermediate waltz. Hello, my name's Cal Branson, and this is my assistant, Susan Cantwell, and we're going to take you through a little bit of intermediate, uh, beginner intermediate waltz. Okay, we're going to start off with showing you the basic rise and fall and the foot positions that you need to be in. All right. Okay. I will show you the foot positions for the gentleman. You start off with your left foot, and you start off on one on your heel. You roll to your toe. You hit two on your toe. On three, you hit toe, compress to heel, drive to four. Okay. Four, five, six is done the exact same way. You step four on your heel, rise to your toe on five, hit toe and compress, flexing the knee on six so that you can drive right back into one. That is the rise and fall for the waltz. And uh, we put three patterns together, two beginner patterns and one in the beginning of an intermediate pattern. Okay, Susan. The first one that we've done is what we call an open twinkle into a he-go-she-go -go cross. In order to do this, the gentleman takes the lady in the frame, steps one Pulls her to the right just slightly as he toes to the right on two. Steps three, straight ahead, preps on four, turns on five, six. The lady will cross on one, other foot. The lady will cross right here. The lady will cross on one, one, two, three. With the arms coming out, the gentleman will step across on four, five, six. Okay. We've done this twice and it looks like this. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Now on three, you pick up the lady's hand as you open, as she comes across on three, you'll Take your arm and run it right down her arm. Step on one. Ready? One, two, three. See how I brought the hand up and catch? Then we just bring the lady right back in front of us on four, five, six. All right, our next pattern was what we call a spiral. You take the lady, and with your gentleman's right hand, he will take the lady, he will step one, push slightly on two, and turn the lady inside, okay, as he pivots on three. And you will step on four, four, bring her back the other way, on five you pivot, okay. We did this pattern twice, looks like this. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, we've done a little bit of an intermediate move into a developé, and then we brought her out with a turn. And it looks like this. Okay, coming out of your spirals, you will step one, two, three, four, five, six. On the one, you will, dr you will drop your shoulders. The gentleman will drop his shoulders just slightly so that the lady knows that he wants her to do a developé which the lady steps back on the one, developes on the two, three, steps forward on the four. One, two, three. Now the lady will step forward and turn her left on the four, five, six. Four, five, six. You will pick up in a closed position. Okay. Now to show you how this looks all the way through, we will do it again. Ready? And one, open up, cross, two, three. Cross, two, cross, two, three, cross. Oh, close up, bring her back in front of you. Open, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, develop A. Four, 
five, six, and close. Thank you for your time. Uh, we hope you enjoyed our workshop. Okay, we're gonna start in a basic position. And as we take our one, we're gonna open her to promenade. We're gonna step one, make sure she steps her one first before you edge her out two, three to the wall. One, two, three. We're both facing forward, canted over 45 degrees. This is our promenade position. From here, I'm gonna stride four with her, but then I'm gonna give her a one and a half turns four, five, six. Now as she's coming through six, I want to catch this shoulder blade again, okay, which closes up my position. And I'm going to move across her body and end up in a parallel position on the right side with right shoulder to right shoulder. As we end up in this position, I'm going to stride my one and rotate all the way around holding the left parallel. One, two, three. Let's go ahead and demonstrate that. We call these parallel Viennese turns. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. If we do a couple of those, um, we'll have a couple parallel, uh, parallel Viennese. If we start from the promenade, the first one starts from promenade with the turn, as you can see, rotates. Now the second one starts still in left parallel. Gentlemen's facing rear line of dance, ladies facing line of dance. I'm still gonna give her the turn and a half and rotate around. Four, five, six, one, two, three. At this point, I'm gonna go four, five, six and lead the lady out in front, no turn over her head. And I'm gonna face her to, at a 45 degree angle to the wall, which we call a spiral angle. We're going to go four, four, five, six. Now right there, I also changed hands. From the left hand to the right with her right hand. We'll try that again. Four, five, six. I'll put my other hand to her back to keep her from over rotating and we have our spiral angle 45 degrees to the wall. Okay. These are called spiral hairbrushes. We're going to start them with a four. I will go four. Four, 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 four. Oh, four. No, this is a one. Excuse me. We brought her out four, five, six. Let's try this again. Okay. It's good. She follows real well. <laughs> four. Four, five, six. We're on a one. We'll go to the wall. One hand over. Now I have her slightly out in front of me. You definitely want to keep the lady slightly out in front of you, hitting the next spiral angle, which in this case is right toward the camera. We're going to go four, four, five, six. So if we do a couple of those bringing her out, these are sp spiral hairbrushes. We come out four, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. On the next one, and you can do a couple of those if you like. On the next one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give her a slightly more torqued turn. Now, uh, this is a syncopation for the lady, and syncopations, as well as rhythm breaks, where she doesn't take steps, are definitely leadable moves. You just have to learn how to lead them, guys, and ladies will then have to learn how to follow. Based on the torque of the turn, she knows to take the extra step. We go one, two, and three. Now you can see how my hand looped around her head and gave her the extra torque to turn. Now while she's doing that, I'm also going to go one, two, and three, which puts us on opposite phrase. One, two, and three. That's okay, because we're gonna shift back here in just a second. Now we're on four, five, six of the music, even though our footwork is one, two, three. I'm going to go through this held hand and it will go toward my shoulder. I'm gonna go at a spiral angle. She'll be coming back at a spiral angle. So this is kind of a weave type movement. One, two, three, catch at the waist. Now we're gonna rotate. On this four, five, six, I'm going to speed up the rotation such that she has to take another step, and this is what brings us back on our regular pattern in the wall. So we're going four, five, six, four, five, and six. 
She has to take the extra step based on the torque. She doesn't have a choice. Now we're going to go our real four, five, six here to finish. Four, five, six. John will be facing rear line of dance, lady line of dance. I'm going to bring her out one, two, three on a free spin. Let her keep turning. Remember, ladies, you're an object in a vacuum. Guy puts you out on a turn, keep turning until he picks you up. So we're gonna go one, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I pick her up. From there, we're just, we're finished. We're gonna pick her up and go right down line of dance. One, two, three, four. Okay, that pretty much concludes the video notebook for the waltz class that we had this weekend. And we did a beginning waltz class this morning. We're going to try to put on the tape the combination that we were going to teach. However, we spent a lot of time on technique and waltz. Uh, and I, I wish I had an hour tape to do this for you, and someday we will get that on tape for you. We talked about beginning waltz. We talked about the stride. We talked about the framework. We talked about all those little technical things that you need to do to make your waltz work. And then when we were done with that, then we showed you the material that would work for you if you used some of the concepts that we were talking about in that class. Those concepts are what we're going to put on the tape right now is the material that you use those concepts to dance with. Um, we talked about basic closed position. The gentleman's putting his hand in the middle of my back. Our elbows match. My hand goes to the inside of his shoulder right here. These two hands are held center point between the partnership. I slot my feet with the gentleman, and he stands with his feet just slightly apart so that I can slot, and I'm settled into his hand. If I'm settled into his hand, when Jack releases that hand, he's got a foot lead for me without even having to move his body. We establish a little bit of equal resistance here from the heel of the hand, just the heel of the hand. I'm going to turn around this way so you can see. If we take the heel of the hand and we put it together like that, that's all we need to use. But that looks real silly when you dance like that. So you just kind of relax the fingers over. They don't do anything. You don't hold on. There's no death grips. On the waltz, we count at one, two, three, four, five, six, and we do what's called a stride, walk, walk. Stride, walk, walk, stride, walk, walk, and we stretch. And ladies, when you're dancing backward, you are dancing from the hip and you're stretching. And I'm going to ask Jack to stop. Thank you. And gentlemen, as you stretch forward, the way Jack and I dance it, we dance at a heel, toe, flat, heel, toe, flat, heel, toe, flat. Talked a little bit about compression and some of that stuff, but that's, that's another two-hour class and everything, so I won't go into that. The material that we want you to try to put together uh, let me go back to the uh, uh, inside outside. We also did an inside turn outside turn for you. The inside turn outside turn looked like this, and we're not going to do the setup basic because we don't have enough room in this room uh, in the taping room to do it. So pretend like you've taken the setup basic that we talked about. The one, two, three, four, five, six. Remember, the inside turn happens on the one, two, three. The outside turn happens on the four, five, six. We have prep, turn the lady, prep. Turn the lady. Prep, and we're going to go back because we're out of room. Running out of room. Yeah, out of room. Okay? And when you prep for that, gentlemen, remember, you stride on the one. One. And now that you're going to prep, what you're going to do is, is on that stride step, what you want to do is bring the hand slightly, take and cock the shoulder just a little bit to tell her time and direction. Next beat of music. You're going to take the hand in front of her face for the loop turn. That allows her to do a half pivot half pivot, and you must bring the hand down if you don't want her to keep going, and she's ready to stride back as you stride into her again. Four. On that four, the gentleman's going to set his left shoulder back. That sets me up for the outside turn. Now he leads the hand over my head. Five. I can do a pivot. I can do a pivot, and Jack does not pick me up until we stride one so that I can finish the turn. So once again, the inside outside would look like this. Pretend like we've done one, two, three, four, five, six. Prep, turn the lady, prep, turn the lady, and waltz. Okay? Now, that's what we actually did in class. That's what we did, and we talked a lot, and you guys were great. What I want to do is I want to talk about this hinge. We talked about framework, and we talked about conversation. Conversation is a position that's danced a lot in the waltz. The problem with that is the couples tend to dance too close together and they don't know how to use the hinge and the latch to work it. What we're going to do right now is we're going to stride on the one, stride. On the two, Jack is going to give me the equal resistance. This is the latch. 
He's going to release the hinge, and as he dances forward, that turns me off to the side. It's clear over to the side. And then he's going to step forward, and that takes me forward for my next step. Then he's going to stride straight forward. Four. Now he wants me to come back in front, so he's going to bring me right across. Five, and step back for the six, which he already did ahead of me. <laughs> Quick little devil, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> okay. So we have one open up, four, close up, one open up, four, close up. That's just a regular hinge. That's just open, close, open, close. The hinge opens from here. And this is the hinge of the door. Open, close, open. The other hand, the left hand over here, Gent, you can use a little bit of equal resistance if you want. Should be able to lead it by just opening the hinge. You shouldn't have to press very hard over here. In other words, you shouldn't have to crank her. All you should do is just release and let her go. And check your framework as you go, as you're in this position, just move apart to check your framework on the hinge. Right. If you're in like this and you step apart and you look like this, you're probably going to have balance problems. Okay, let's take that same uh, movement and let's do a ladies inside loop. Ladies inside loop on the 5-6. That would look like this. One, open up, stride, loop, turn, one. And ladies, you're doing a one and a half in two turns. You must get up on the ball of the foot and pivot. Again, one, open the lady, four, pivot, pivot, and one. And notice again, Jack doesn't come into me until the one. He lets me finish the turn. That's an inside loop for the ladies. And then there's also uh, a wrap position that gets you to wrap. We're also going to talk about a foot change. But Jack's not going to do the foot change. He's just going to do the wrap position. It looks like this. One open up to wrap the lady one. Okay, and we'll do that again. And that gets the lady into wrap position. One, open up, four, pivot, pivot, one. And if you notice, I'm striding one on my right, he's striding on his left. Gents, this is a perfect time, perfect time for you to do a foot change. The easiest, quickest way for you to do a foot change is moving down the floor when the lady's doing something. And Jack's going to stand right here and we'll both do it. If you're striding forward on one, two, three on the left foot, if you take the right foot for the four, go four, cha, 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 and step forward, now you're leading on the one on the right foot. And that right foot now becomes the lead foot. You have changed to the lady's lead foot. And when you didn't make the change, gentlemen, you can do it at will. The lady doesn't even know that you've done the foot change. You can do it any time you want. She doesn't care. In other words, you don't need to say to the lady, change your feet. You can do it yourself. So again, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six, one. And now you're striding with the right. So if Jack did a foot change now, on that uh, last half of the wrap turn, he will have changed his feet so that we can go into the other world of dancing off the same feet instead of opposite feet. That movement would look like this. One, open up, four, cha-cha-cha, one. And look at he's striding forward with the right. I'm forward with my right foot. And now we have all kinds of moves we can do. And I'm going to ask Jack to do it again. And I'm going to ask him to scissor across or zigzag across on the one so you can see why, why you might want to do this. OK? I want to go a little bit deeper this way. Ready, and one, open up. Four, cha cha cha, and lead across. You didn't do cha cha cha. I didn't cha. do a cha cha. Jack didn't do a cha cha cha. In my mind, what I was going to tell you, fellows, is make sure that you make your weight change on four, stride four, make the complete weight change, then your cha 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 and step. Yeah, they and saw I that was, when we did that. Back and there. I was thinking that, and I didn't execute it. Okay, here we go. Ready and one, open up. Four, cha, 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 and now you can lead across. That's what I want you to do is lead across for, for, for a zigzag. And now you can just do zigzags, two, three, zag, two, three. I'm leading him again. I shouldn't be doing that. I shouldn't be doing that. So, Jance, you can use that foot change at will. The lady doesn't even know, nor does she even care that you've done a foot change. You're going to do it whenever you want. You have the lady one, two, three, four, cha-cha-cha. She doesn't even know. Now you can go into zigzags. You can go into zigzags because you're on the same foot that she's on and you can do a whole new world of movement that's out there. I know I'm talking fast. I know I'm trying to cram a lot into five minutes. Uh, hopefully we'll get our beginning waltz tape on tape for you sometime.
Hi, I'm Mike Haley. And I'm Patty Miller. And we're here in Washington at the lovely Hyatt Hotel. And we did a waltz class, Friday morning's waltz class, and so we'd like to review it for you on your tape. Remember that we opened on the one, two, and three, and we tried to open the lady by moving our shoulders towards the lady, rotating towards the lady. So we did stride, two, three. We're in open promenade position. We're gonna step through on a diagonal, so we're stepping diagonally to the center, opening to the outside, and stepping through on a diagonal here on the one, closing up two and three. Now it's real important that the ladies just hold their arms in their natural positions and they will come back to the man's shoulders. We're here, as we close back up, two, three, that lady's arm will come right to his shoulder. We swing through across, two, three, and open. Notice that the styling for the man's arm is palms down to the floor and arms away from the body, but you don't have to overextend them just so that they're comfortably away but somewhere between the waist and the shoulder level. Usually right at the sternum level right here is a really nice position for the guys. So we'll try that whole combination for you again up to that point. We're opening the promenade on one, two, three, swing through, two, three, swing through, two, closing it up, swing through, two, three. The second, third, fourth time you do this, doesn't matter, we're gonna ask you to switch hands. As you're coming through, I have the lady's right hand in my left hand. And as we come through, we switch over, so I go shake hands position or right to right. And we complete the turn, so now the hand is coming across the lady's midsection. Patty's left hand will stretch across now, and she goes straight down the line of dance on a four, opening five, six, and we're across, two, three. We're gonna change our direction here, because they're a little tight, and open, two, three, across. Good. Now we're gonna do that for you using the whole room. As we do this, the man will still be doing his serpentine behind the ladies, but not quite as, as much of an angle. We're gonna cut that angle down a little bit. The ladies are almost going straight down the line of dance. So as she comes forward on her left foot here, she's going down the line of dance, turning, and her right foot will go straight down the line of dance. I'm the one that changes the sides. I'm on her left side. Now I come over and I'm on her right side. Good. We're gonna do our arms straight into the camera so you can see the styling here. As the lady's coming through on a four, the man's arm will be out to the side. Her arm will be straight forward. She leans slightly away from the man. And notice that my lead hand, the one that's connected, is down around her waist level. Don't get it up under the armpit here because it causes her arm to go up. So nice and low. Pull her through. And now I stretch out. And Patty extends her left arm. My right hand, left hand is on her back. My right hand is joined here. So up nice and comfortable. On this side, we're doing out to this way all the way across. Good. Do those as many times as you'd like, and then we're going to throw in a syncopation for the lady. She's going to do the syncopation on her four, five, and six. So she's going to stride. Four, turn, five, and six. Now we're both on the same foot, man's footwork, so we're both on our left foot on the count of one. We're going to do a half a basic here. We're going to do one, two, three. On our next four, five, six, we're going to do a setup, and that's a forward, side, cross. So that's forward, side, cross. Notice that when we cross, our feet are pretty close together. We're not trying to take a large step there. We're taking a very small step, and both arms are extended for balance right here. We lower and step out on the one and start our turn. Notice that we've prepped the left foot out. Now we're ready to turn, okay? We'll back up and try the whole sequence for you. She's coming through. She's going to syncopate on four, five, and six. Four, five, and six, half basic. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're gonna start our windmills, or half windmills. We're gonna stride on the one, taking the right hand over. One, my right hand is up now in the air. Continuing the turn on two, hammer locking the man's right hand behind his back, stepping back on three. Now we're gonna stride back on four and turn the lady out. So it's stride, turn, turn. And we're ready to repeat it again, to get you lined up here. And it's stride, turn, and stride, turn, turn. Stride, two, three, ladies turn. Catch that hand, and ladies, you should carry your hand down about just a little above your belt line so he can catch it right here to start the next series going over the top of the head. Good, we're gonna do those straight through. Try and turn the corner for you. We'll start with a forward side cross on a four, five, and six. And four, five, six, cross, two, three, turn, two, three, across, two, three, turn, two, three, across, two, three, 
turn, two, three, and cross. Good. Now for the exit, we're going to give the lady a syncopated turn to come out. She changed feet as we went into this same foot combination, so she also has to change feet as she comes out. We're going to do our last turn here coming off of our four, five, and six, her right foot, she turns out. Four, five, six. Now as she steps down the line of dance on her one, I'm going to give her a free turn. She'll syncopate. She'll do one, two, and three, and I'm going to pick her up on the four, my right foot. She's going back on her left now. Four, five, six, and we're back onto our closed dance position. We're going to do the whole combination for you. This is a rather small room and hopefully we won't crash into any walls, but we'll try it nice and slow for you and count it out as we go. Starting closed dance position. Remember, we're relaxing the knees, trying to get soft knees on ones and fours. And one, two, three, open, swing to the outside, present, close it up, across, present, across, do your hand change. Ladies, point, gentlemen to the shoulder. Ladies, point, gentlemen to the shoulder. Ladies, syncopate. And step two, three, forward side, cross, over two, three, ladies, turn, two, three, and over two, three, turn, two, three, over two, three, turn. Ladies, syncopate out, one, two, and three, four, five, and you're back into your basic step there. I want to thank you. Hope you enjoyed this tape and all the other great instructors here this weekend. We'll be back. We're teaching a total of three classes. This is our first waltz class on Friday morning. Thanks. Hi, I'm Patty Miller. And I'm Mike Haley. And for your video notebook, we'd like to put on the waltz that we taught on Saturday morning, the intermediate advanced level. We started in a closed dance position, and we worked a little bit on stride, making sure that not only did you take a nice long step on the ones, but that you continued to travel on the twos and threes. Four, open the feet around. Two, three, make sure it really reaches out. We added to that an underarm turn for the lady on the four, five, and six. So we started from our basic. We did one, two, three. We turned her four, five, six. We did a hand change and take her to sweetheart position on the next one, two, three. And at the same time, the man did a foot change. So we'll go back and add the foot change. Now, Patty has started her turn on the four, five, and six. She goes four, five, and six. Now, as she does her next series of turns, I will do a foot change counting that one, two, and three. We're going one, two, and three. Now, we're both going to stride out on the left foot. This will be the ladies count of four. So this is four, five, six, and one, two, three. From here, we went into our side-by-side -side serpentines. We simply set up on the four, five, six, and we start our stride on a one two, three, across. Now notice that we're changing sides here. So she's on my right hip, stride across. Now she's on my left hip, stride across. And any time her hands, one will be to the shoulder, one will be extended. When I switch sides, then the other arm extends. This one is to her shoulder. From that serpentine position, we added lady's turn. We're going to turn the lady out on a one, two, three. So as she strides on her right foot forward on the one, we're going to turn her to her right. One, two, three. And stride across, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now as the lady does that, remember it's very important ladies to close your feet together. So you're stepping here, right foot turned out, close your left to your right as you do the turn, two, three, and you're ready to go again, two, three. If you open your feet, you will travel away from that man and he won't be able to hold you for the next move. So watch it once again. Stride across first and stride, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Now from the same foot position, we also did a nice little line that was a step point. This is not really a very leadable line, but if you make it, uh, put it together in your combination with another move, you'll both remember where it goes. We're going to stride on the four, stop, point your right foot to the side, two, three, and finish the turn, and go into and turn the lady again. Two, three, so it's stride, point, and turn, two, three, stride, point, here. Now you can arch your back towards the foot a little bit. Nice point, toe turned out. Don't get your heel up in the air, okay? Turn your hip out, get your foot just pointing straight down the line of dance, great. A nice way to remember that is that the knee looks down the line of dance. As you're here, 
If the knee looks down the line of dance, you're okay. If the knee looks at the floor, then you've turned your hip in and your heel's sticking up. So just make sure that, don't let the knee look up at the ceiling. Make it look straight down the line of dance. Great. Our last part was a stationary move, so you might want to take this into the center of the floor. From our last point, we did point, two, three, and I let the lady uh, release from me, and she strode forward, step, step. Now, right now, our weight's both on our right foot, and we're ready to step on a four. As I step forward, I lift my left arm and turn left. So I look left, put my right hand right to my waist, come over the top, step, step. And we're on a one count, and we're going to go around our lady and syncopate. And one, two, and three, four, five, and six. Now, Patty's ready to stride forward on her one. She's going to do a regular turn out, and I will do a syncopation in place. And one, two, and three. We both have our four ready to stride back, and we go four. Good. We'll try that again for you sideways so you can see for the camera view. Here, we'll do our last point, and it's stride point. Release the lady, send her forward. And this is one, two, three. Rock step. Now, I turn in place, and over her head, and around, two, and three, around. Now she's stepping on a one, coming out with her right foot. She will do a regular turn. I will do a sink of patient. Step, cha-cha-cha, pick her up, four, five, six. Now we talked about that if you get into a tight floor, that these extended arms may not be too good, so you might want to take it to your waist. Another place to do is take it up into a cathedral. Take it all the way up into a cathedral here. This keeps it in nice and tight so that if you have a really crowded floor, you're not wiping everybody else out. Great. That's your combination. We would love to dance it all the way through, but as you can see, we don't have a lot of room. So just put all the parts together. You and can I, do it. And you can do it at home. You probably have more room than we do. Thanks a lot. Hope to see you in another. Hi, I'm Patty Miller. And I'm Jack Wagner. We'd like to go over some things that we taught you in the Intermediate Advanced Walls class on Saturday evening. What we started off with was a serpentine, starting off with the prep, coming out doing one side together, replace, stepping out one, two, three, four, that's four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. When you do those serpentines, gentlemen, remember you're going to be coming forward on the left foot, one, stepping side, two, replace three, stepping out on four. Ladies, you're going to be doing the same thing going backwards. And it's one, two, three, stepping back on your left foot and stepping back on your right. Okay, and that's basically a serpentine move. What we've done is added some turns for the lady, starting off with just a single turn from the prep. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we go to a single turn. Lady stepping back with your right foot, gentlemen stepping forward with your left, and it's one, two, three, stepping back, four, five, six. Now on those turns, ladies, it's a spot turn. You must bring your feet together to turn in place before you step back. We'll do it one more time, single turn. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Now ladies, it really helps to spot as I'm going backwards with my, with my right foot on a one, I'm looking over my partner's left shoulder. And the opposite way is I'm going back with my left foot, I'm looking over my partner's right shoulder. So if you spot as you go to turn, you'll be able to step back one, two, three, and spot and hit that turn a little bit better, have some more balance. Okay, coming back to... We'll take it from the single turn, and then we do a double arm, double hand turn, same serpentine footwork pattern, just different arm work, okay? Stepping back on the one, two, three, stepping back four, five, six. Ladies, feet together, turn, and back, two, three. Okay, um, let's try, let's see, we'll do, from there we went into a developé. We'll take it from the double, um, Double hand turn. I'm back against the corner. <laughs> Backing them in there. Ladies, back with your uh, right foot. Gentlemen, forward with your left. And it's one, two, three, and four, five, six. Now from here, we went ahead and did a single turn, just like we did in the beginning. And at, at the time that, um, after the one, two, three, uh, let's see, do you foot change during one, two, three? Uh, one, uh, no, four, five, six. Okay. One, two, three, that's correct. Foot you do change. Foot change. one, two, three. Cha, cha, okay. cha. Okay. And gentlemen, you do foot change, cha, 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 so it would be one, two, and three. Ladies, you do regular footwork. 
Okay, you ready? Also change hands. And, oh, yeah, that's right. And gentlemen, change hands. Thank you. Okay, just watch it first. Ready? And one, two, three. Okay, and then step back. Four, de pay. Five, six, one, two, three, and four, five, six. Okay, we'll break that down yeah, for you. Let's show them this way so they can see the hand change. Okay, yeah, because the gentleman had the hand change. Okay, as you're coming back, one, two, three, um, the foot change is one, two, and three, gentlemen, and you actually change hands doing one, two, three, coming down, placing the lady's hand on top of the wrist, coming down and catching on the bottom. Ladies, you step back with your left foot, not your right foot. That's a four, stepping back. Most of the compression, the arms are bent so that there's room to take the, the lady out for the developé. And it's four, five, six. Remember, ladies, when you developé, you want to bring the foot in so that the heel comes almost towards the shin. You don't want to just bring your knee up and make a circle. So it's bringing in, four, five, six. Remember to lower, then stride forward coming with feet together, that's actually one, two, three, and then stepping out on four, five, six. And of course, both of you are going to be on the lady's footwork coming out on four, five, six. Gentlemen, you will pause as the lady comes back to you on the, on the developé, on, or on the four, four, four five, five six. six, rock back one, hold two, three, and then you're ready to step out on four, which will be your left foot. Okay, so let's just go ahead and, and go from the beginning, see if we can... See if there's enough room. See if we can just kind of go do those serpentines in place. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, and four, five, six, one, two, three, and four, five, six, one, two, three, and four, five, six, and single turn. Hand change, develop A, up, and four, five, six, one, two, and stop. From here, ladies, to get out of it, you're going to do a free turn, regular footwork, four, five, six, gentlemen, this is where you have to change over. Remember, you syncopated out, so you must syncopate back in to get back on the gentleman's footwork. So, ladies, you're going to turn out, starting forward on a four, that's going to be your left foot, do a regular turn, gentlemen, you do a foot change, it would be four, five, and six. Ready? And four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. We Finish made it! Ta-da! Hi, everybody. This is uh, my wife, Yvonne, and I'm Tony Gooch, and we're from California. We taught intermediate waltz this weekend for you guys. Um, let's just quickly show exactly what we did in the class, and then we'll break it down for you. So we start out with a basic. We've got a one, two, three, four, five, six, two, two, three, four, five, six, three, two, three, four, five, six, four, two, three, four, five, six, five, two, three, five, six, and one. And we're back into closed position for our basic. So first of all, what we did, we started out we talked a little bit about technique. I won't get too much into that, but make sure that as you do this, we're getting the correct technique, which is a heel, ball, ball, heel, ball, ball. Okay, and you're gonna push off with the back leg. We talked about this in the class. You're pushing off with the back leg and letting the, the leg swing through for a heel, ball, ball. And that's the rise and the fall is to a flat foot, again, for a heel, ball, ball. So the only rise and fall that we're getting is it's not in the knees. It's not by going popping down and back up. It's by going out. You're getting up on the ball of the foot. So this is rise and this is fall. There's about three inches of, of rise is all you're going to get. So this is rise and this is fall. Okay, so again, you're going to drive through one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and the ladies part. The ladies part is the same going forward and for the most part she does go forward. But when she's going backwards, it's very important that she rolls all the way through her foot for one, two, three, four, five, six. Be careful and be sure you roll all the way through your foot because if you go back to your heel too soon, that's when you become real heavy on your partner and you lose your rise and fall. Okay, so those are just some of the technique that we talked about in the class. Um, the actual movement starts 
we did a complete basic. Okay, so you've done a basic, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you're going to do an inside turn. Okay, let the lady stride one, turn her on two. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me show you what it looks like at a different angle. So the lady's going to stride one, turn two. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we end up side to side here. Now, I talked about out of the inside turn, I'm going to bring my arm straight down. It's one, two, three. On four, I bring the arm straight down, and that's what turns our shoulders in, five, six. And we're going to kind of go uh, like a V type of look here. Okay, it's very waltzy. Okay, and the next part is, this is four, five, six. Now we're going to drive one, one, step out, two, cross behind, three. Okay, now we're going to drive four, turn five, six. Step four, turn five, six. And we end up in open position. Okay? Yeah. So what I didn't show was there was a hand change there. I'm going to do it now. So we've ended up here, four, five, six. Now we're going to go one, two, cross behind three. You're going to stride four, turn five, six, but you're going to present the right hand to the lady this time. So it's four, five, six. The left hand goes to the lady's back, the right hand goes in front. Okay, you present the right hand to the lady's right hand. Now, the next part of this, the lady steps across, one, turns two, three. So it's one, two, three. Okay, and all the guy does, guys, watch the footwork for me. I'm going to stride one, hold two, and then go across three. So it's one, two, three. Again, remaining the heel ball ball, heel ball ball technique. Okay, the second part of this, the lady's going to step again to our left, which is inside line of dance, for four, five, six. And we end up just where, exactly where we started. Okay? Now, we're very much so turned into each other. This is, this is the first part of this. The first one is a one, two, Three, we're very much so, our hips are very much so turned into each other. We don't want to have the lady all the way to flat to line a dance like this, okay? Because she's really out of whack there. Okay, and we're doing the, a, kind of a serpentine type of motion here is what we're doing. We're going, weaving back and forth. Okay, so let's do the first two. We've done a one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you're going to do the same one, two, three again. Okay, so you do one, two, three. Now the lady's going to stride four, turn five, six, and we go right back to close. So it's four, five, six. Okay, and we're right back and close. Let me show that from the side. So it's four, five, six, then one, two, three. We're back and close to start all over again. And that pretty much concludes what we did in our first class. Thank you very much. Hi, we're back again. I'm Tony, and this is my wife, Yvonne. We're going to show you what we did in our second intermediate waltz class, okay? I've already talked about the technique that we talked about. We covered that again in, this, in the same class, okay? But one thing that I failed to mention in the, last in the last tape, part of the tape, that I want to put in there for sure now, I want to show it from this angle. Now, instead of lining up toe-to-toe, -to -toe, shoulder to shoulder like this, okay, what I'm going to do is take my right hip or the inside of my right shoulder and line it up with the center of my partner. What this does, is you can watch our feet, is it allows me to drive through right underneath and through my partner, okay, as opposed to lining up squared off here. We're always going to be worried about knocking knees and feet and like I did, like I just stepped on our foot there, okay. But that's just another thing that we talked about for technique that you can try. It's not a right or wrong thing. It's just something that we do that, you know, you can give it a try. Okay, so the first thing we did in the... Actually, let me show the whole thing, what it looks like first, and then I'll break it down for you. So we do a basic, a one, two, three, turn four, five, no, that's not it. Excuse me. We're not going to do the basic. It's a one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, a plain one, two, three, four, I turn the lady, we do a neck wrap, 
two, three, four, five, six, we're back and closed to start all over again. Okay, now that's what the whole thing looks like. To break it down, we've done a basic, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're gonna do one, two, three, the lady strides four, turns five, six. We end up in the open hand position. I'll show you what this looks like. It's a one, two, three, stride four, turn five, six. I'm gonna pick up the lady's left hand and my right hand. Okay, so we end up palm to palm here. Now, we're gonna do serpentines here. So the first part looks like this. I'm gonna step to my right with my left foot. It's not a complete serpentine. We're actually gonna stop them. What I wanna show you is the plain serpentines first, and then I'm gonna show you the ones with the kick because we talked about both in the class. So here's what the plain ones are. It's a one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those are just plain serpentines, okay? Now the ones that we showed in the class are the ones with the kick. So I'm gonna step one, one, two, three. The lady brings the leg up and kicks on three. She strides one, brings the leg up two, kicks three. The guy, he steps one, let me show you. He steps across one, points two, and holds three. Remaining on your left foot, remaining, keeping the weight on the left foot. Now for the second part of this, we're gonna step down four, five, six. Again, the same thing, the lady strides back, lifts the leg on five, kicks six. And the guy does the same thing, holds and points. and remains weight on his right foot, okay? <clears throat> so it's, there's two kicks. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're gonna do a plain serpentine. One, two, three. This is where the lady does the outside turn on five. She's gonna stride back five, turn five, six. We're gonna get set up, stride back four. That's right, thank you. She's going to stride back four, turn five, six, and we're going to get set up to go into our, our neck wrap. So she strides four, turns five, six. Now, guys, make sure that you're at least equal to your partner. If we're headed down the line of dance here, you don't want to be too far behind her. Stay, stay put there, Yvonne. You don't want to be too far behind her, okay, or else you're not going to get... You're not gonna be able to accomplish this move because you have to work too hard. So when you turn her for the outside turn, you're at least up to her, at least up to her. If not, maybe slightly ahead of her, okay? So let me show that last part again. The last one is the four. Lady turns on five, six. So it's four, turn five, six. And guys, can you see how I worked my way up as she did the turn? Okay, so that's what you wanna do. Now on one, I'm gonna stride through the arm on one. Let me just show the guy's footwork first. Okay, I'm gonna stride, stride through on one and back step on two. So I've got one, two, three, stride four, turn five, six. Okay, that's what the whole thing looks like. Now I'll break it down a little bit better. Let me show the guy's footwork by itself. Okay, guy's footwork is such I'm gonna step across to my right with my left foot as, this, as if I'm gonna do another serpentine. I'm gonna stride one, step side two, back three, then I'm gonna drive four, lady turns five, six, and we're back and closed. Okay, now the lady's footwork looks like this. She's gonna do the turn first. She strides four, turn five, six. We set ourselves up for the neck wrap. Okay, turn yourself so we can see your footwork. Now the lady steps back one, okay? Right, forward one. <laughs> lady steps forward one, okay? So she steps forward one right into me as if she was gonna run right through me. One, uh, this is where I take two, three. Now she's gonna step straight back four. Four turns five, six, and we get back and closed, okay? <laughs> So let me show that a little, a little bit smoother what it looks like. I get set up for the neck wrap, then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Ladies, the key here is that you step back on four, okay? Watch one more time. You've got one, two, three, stop. This is where you step back on four. Make sure you step straight back, down line of dance. Four, five, six. 
okay? And make sure that when you do your turns, you're using the correct pivot techniques for the turns, okay?